Okay, so I'm talking to Stephanie Gachet from All My Children Plays Madison North. Yeah, so. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Welcome to the event today. Um, there's a lot of excited fans out there um, in the other room. Is there anything you want to say to them? Well, I want to say thank you for coming and, and thank you for supporting us uh, through thick and thin. It's been a tough year, really hard year for the fans, for us as well. Um, it's been kind of a roller coaster since moving to LA and now with the show cancellation and the internet business all kind of up in the air. I know it's been kind of confusing, but the point is we're all here to celebrate what a great show this is and how much we all love it. So I thank you for being here for that. Oh, great. And speaking of tough years, Madison's had a really tough year right now. Is there any like teasers or anything that you can tell us that might a little happiness might be coming her way or something before the show ends? I don't know anything for sure because I don't know what's going on until I get my script for the next mm -hmm. time I'm working, which um, I have another like week and a half off at this point. But um, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get to see a happy reunion between Madison and Scott, which is all I wish for her right now. I just want her to look like she's gonna be happy for a while. Yeah. Um, cause, yeah, she's had it pretty rough. So, um, and I I think the the pairing is very cute with Madison mm -hmm. and Scott, and I would like to see them just kind of kiss and make up and live happily ever after kind of oh, thing. That's good. I like them together too. <laughs> Perfect. So speaking of like, you mentioned that you had some time off and you've had a long vacation. What yeah. have you been doing with your, your free time? Uh, a little of this, a little of that. I'm uh, I'm in school still, so oh, I'm still uh -huh. taking classes over the summer, so that helps keep me busy. Mm -hmm. um, and I've had people come into town and visit me from out of town and sort of run around and play tourist and go to the beach and all that stuff. Um, yeah, it's just kind of like a summer break, I guess. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and how do you feel about the possibility of like shows, the show going on the internet in the future, just about like internet in general? I think it's a very exciting idea. I, I think um, that these guys at Prospect Park are very smart and they're on the cutting edge of something. Uh, what it means for us specifically, of course, none of us know. Right. Um, unfortunately, yet we just have to be patient. But mm -hmm. but the idea is a really good one, and I really do think we are getting to a point where television, where the internet is going to be where people go to get their programming. So mm -hmm. um, hopefully, we get in on the ground floor of that, and and hopefully we can all be part of it. Well, that's great. So here's a hypothetical. Um, so should the show go online and Madison's a part of it, is there any like storyline or anything that she hasn't done yet that you want her to? Oh, there are endless things. <laughs> so far, you can do it all. Um, uh, Madison hasn't had a wedding yet, oh. um, so maybe some little fairy tale romance. But then, of course, you can't be happy forever. So yeah. who knows? I don't know. <laughs> no. I want to do it all. Yeah. <laughs> So you spend a lot of time, you got to work a lot with Cameron Matheson, Daniel Cosgrove, a lot of really nice leading men. Is there anything um, that you can share about Daniel that people don't know about him? Well, I think people are catching on, but um, I don't know if everyone knows that Daniel Cosgrove is a class clown. He mm -hmm. is hysterical. Like, hands down the funniest guy I've ever met in my whole life. He um, freestyle raps. He makes up these raps and just uh, cracks everybody up. Pretty much every time we're in a scene together, you can bet that on the countdown at the beginning of the scene, we've been cracking up, and then all of a sudden we have to pull it together and make a straight face. <laughs> try to keep our cool. Um, pretty much all the time, he's, he's a jokester and making everybody laugh. <laughs> it's fun. It's funny. What about Cameron? Um, Cameron is a whole different sort of fun. Um, I'm, I've really been lucky with my <laughs> on-screen partners. Yeah. They're both amazing. And Cameron is just such a giving actor, um, always taking care of his scene partner, mm -hmm. uh, and as far as um, what people might not know about him, I don't know if everyone knows that he's big into meditation and that uh, he has a daily meditation practice, oh, wow. and, um, and he's kind of inspiring some of the rest of us to, mm -hmm. to start that as well, so it's cool and not a lot of people know that about him. Oh, I didn't know that either. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, just like finally, is there anything that you want to say to the fans? Just like a thank you or anything? Yeah. Um, thank you for being part of this show and the history of this show. It wouldn't exist without the fans. It's for you guys. Um, and just because this chapter is coming to a close doesn't mean that we don't all have bright futures ahead of us, um, and you as well. And so. Thank you and, and chin up and we'll all be we'll all be okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.